Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video of me, Fuzzball40. Um, this video is, is a follow-up from this morning's video. I've had loads of people panicking to me and saying, oh my God, these uh, Premier League players aren't climbing like I thought they would and I'm going to sell them and da 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 Number one, if you choose to sell, it's down to you. I'm going to make some things clear about these sort of investments and so you understand how they work, okay? The, the first thing is, there's always the option, and make sure you know this, to sell in the hype, okay? So if you remember Messi Player of the Month, I sold a lot of my cards in the hype because I was happy with the profit. I bought a lot of my racket titches and my varieties for 14, 15k. And just before he came out, they were up at 19, 20k. So I sold in the hype that I was happy with 3k profit a card. But yesterday, the hype was when it first got released, loads of people bought them up um, and they ended up about 3.5k. So if you'd have bought, like I had, about 500 to 1,000 coins, you're making 2,000 coins a card. But I held on. I was like, nah, it's all right. Because trading is a, is a, is a risk game. There's, there's always a risk attached to trading, okay? So you have a choice. You can take the profit or you hold out for more. Now, if you hold out for more and it doesn't come forward, then, then that's that. If you don't hold out for more, you get your profit and brilliant. But then you always have to run the risk that those players go up massively. Um, I'll tell you what I think is affecting it at the moment and um, what I think the prices are, what they are. Um, and what I think they'll do. So just so we know, I'll try and explain to you what I think has happened here. So first thing to note about this SPC has been a lot of negativity about it. A lot of, in my opinion, unfounded negativity. I think EA have got this one right. Um, I think the Maya card, I showed it yesterday in the, in the morning video, I think it's very good. When the Serie A came out, everyone was slacking off the Serie A. Tonali was terrible, blah, 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 blah. People started using Tonali and was like, oh my God, this card's incredible. And then suddenly it was a slow burner and people picked up, picked up, picked up. And over the course of a week or two, the Serie A SBC got massively, massively popular. People loved doing it. It was really good. And, and suddenly that, that's what happened. But there's a lot of negativity, un unfair negativity, in my opinion. What everyone said to EA, we want you to start giving these random players boosts rather than the same guys every day. When we had the Renato Sanchez footless SBC, everyone was like, using the same cards. EA then go and give a Crystal Palace centre mid a ridiculous boost and a Tottenham centre back a ridiculous boost who strongly needs to scream what I'm Mendy and people are still complaining. You cannot have it both ways. You've got you've got a, you've got a choice here, and in my opinion, you you need to either accept that it's going to be that or not. And also remember, these players are 84 rated because EA are trying to stop people doing the grind. That I don't agree with. I think it's bang out of order. But that's why why EA are doing the uh, SBCs the way they're doing the SBCs. That that's just it. That's what they're doing. There's nothing you can do about it. But there's a lot of negativity about it. Also, EA have gone. Uh, EA sorry, people have gone and invested in these cards. So what happened yesterday? I I think is. There's a rush to buy these cards quick, quick, quick before they, because everyone expected them to go to 10k straight away, because people don't know how the market works. So what happens? People that bought them then and then, relisted them straight away to, to flip them. People who had already invested them, then panicked and listed them on the market, and their su supply was not our way of demand. But I will say, yesterday when I went to bed, I checked the market, and Sheffield United Strikers, for example, were about one, just over okay, um, when I checked the market last night. They're now up at about 1.5-ish, give or take. About 1.5. So some are going for like 1.3, some are going for 1.4, but they're, they're in and around 1.5. There's a couple of yeah, 1.4. Yeah, 1.5 exactly, right? That's 500 coins up, okay, overnight. So that's that. The, the, the bar, demand will be there, though. Things you've got to think about are number one, they're two Premier League players. People are going to want to do them because they're two Premier League players. Carl Clicks want to do them. Number two, packs. All of you crying about these packs and these league SPCs need to get over it. Why? Because we know what was going to happen because they've been doing it all year. Nothing's changed. Also, the rating requirement on this Premier League SPC. You've only got to put in 71 rated teams for these teams. 71 rated teams for these, for these, for these packs. You can't cry too much. Like, it is what it is. They give you a minimum rating. No, normally, the minimum ratings are 82 and 83. So that's why the packs are so good. This year, EA are, are EA killing it. Like, in terms of it, they're trying to kill the SPCs off. We know they are. They don't want us to do them. Um, but just be mindful that it's the supply isn't our way in demand at the moment. But today is Saturday. More people come on the game. People have been working all week. They might look at that and go, hang on, I want to do that. And I want to show you something to try and set your mind at rest. Um, we'll start off with um, the this card. This is John Chancellor. He is a Brescia centre, uh, Syria centre mid, right? Uh, centre back, sorry. Um, everyone knows, watch my videos, I trade with Brescia silvers all the time. I make two, three K a card. This guy here, I'm going to show you his price point. This was the day before he got released onto, onto the market. It was 800 coins, right? The day the SBC dropped, he was at 1.9k. So that's the day the day after, sorry. So it dropped, SBC dropped on the 25th. He was at 1.9k the next day. Similar to these guys. The day after that, he's certainly got up to 2.3k on Xbox. This is 
hadn't really climbed. 3.1k day after that. It wasn't until nigh on a week later that he reached what a peak where it was going to be. Well, let's go to there. That's me. It's sold out. Let's just try. There's one there. there. Peak where he realistic is. I know there's a big green spike on that map. It's a, it's a rarity that he gets that high. Between 8 to 10k is usually his, his price. This is a week later, a full week later, that he got to his high price. The whole time before that, climbing, going extinct at points, but climbing, 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 climbing. Okay? Goes back up and gets drops off again because he goes extinct, climbs again. So it's a slow burner. These players don't just quickly go, bang, we're gonna we're gonna rise straight away, and everyone goes, like, oh, I need to do this SPC. People don't do that. It's they're usually slow burners. I'm gonna show you last year's Premier League. Now, admittedly, I think the players are slightly more what you would say meta, but even I mean Decorway was good last year. I had him. Vardy was meh, Lanzini when he came out was meh, Anderson was good, but that was late game. This is Bruno Aquile Manga. Though those of you who know about League SPCs know last year, Cardiff's SPC in the Premier League was extortionate. It was all the centre backs were about 10k each. At times Aquile Manga got up to 25k. That's how bad things got. But um when he was extinct, you could list him for max. But let me just show you, okay? So before his SPC gets released, it's about 500 coins, and the day's SPC gets released was the 15th. The 14th, no, 14th sorry, you know I me. Mean? 15th, no, it was the 15th. 1.8k is, is what his average selling price was 1.8k. He then steadily climbed, but even next day, he only got up by a few hundred coins. And he steadily, steadily climbed until a week later, he hit his peak, which was 9k. And he went, uh, he went uh, sort of like, what was it, out uh, packs, extinct. And then he sort of climbed again, dropped off, climbed again, dropped off, because he, he, at times he was extinct, times he was selling. But he took ages to get to that price. The reason being, they're slow burners. People don't always want to do the league SPC straight away. Some people weren't on the game at that time. Some people, again, once people start using Maya and Foyt and think, actually, these cards are quite good and people talk about it, the hype builds. But this is a, tra it's a trading is, is a game at the end of the day. It's, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And I always say to you, and I say it every time, if you're worried, sell in the hype. Don't wait for them to climb to 10k. I don't care about losing these because I know for when, if I lose, if I lose 100k on, on these silvers, if I go into 100k, I'll just make the 100k back in that couple of hours just trading with other, other silvers. It's not a problem. I don't stress about it. People that put like, some of my guys have put like 900k into this. I'm like, do you know the silver market like this and pre-investments? If you probably don't, it's stupid. Don't do that. Know your market. But if you're panicking, sell in the hype. If you've got players you bought for 1,000 coins and they go for 3.5k and, and you're, you, you care about losing coins, then go and sell. Go and sell and get it done. If you don't, like me, I don't care. I'm like, it's fine. If I lose 100k, if I risk 100k, 200k on this, I lose it, that's fine. I'll make that back in a, in a couple of days. I don't care. It's, it's not that deep to me. But I don't do that. My belief is that the prices will start to slowly climb. People will start to do the SBCs. They'll start to go up. Also remember, when people did this SBC as well, loads of silver cards come into the market. So it crashes the price as well. Because these Premier League SBC players come onto the market themselves and they drop the market. And the market collapses. Again, last night I looked before I went to bed. Sheffield United was 11k to do. On footprint, that was 14k to do. Which means there's been some rise. Full stop. But you just got to be mindful of it and think, okay, cool. What's affecting the market? What can I do? Do I sell now if I'm happy with profit? Or do I wait? I'm waiting. That's my opinion. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. I don't care about losing. Like, again, I can make these coins back. It's not a problem to me. You've got to make a decision yourself. It's got to be a, a fast decision. You make yourself as to what you do. But I'm going to hold... History has told us that usually it goes up in price, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's life, man. There's not, nothing you can do about that. But that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, it's explained a bit to you and it makes you understand exactly where we're at and what we're doing. Um, but again, if you did like it, please drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. But for now, that's, I'm out. Peace out. Speak to you later.